Hello, hello everyone. The stream is starting. Yay, I'm glad to be back. We missed Tuesday. It was kind of sad. But I had to do something. But unfortunately it was time sensitive. But now we're back. And that makes me very happy. Because I want to show you some stuff that I've been doing. And also stuff I have prepared, because I have prepared a whole bunch of stuff. Actually. Surprisingly. Good time of day to you too, Pyro. Okay, warm up map time. I'll just take one of each. Doing strongbox scarabs just because I have a lot of them. Oh, where's ambush? Ambush. Oh. High pack density, increased modifier tier, and more pack size. That's pretty nice. Sexy combo. Uh, I'm going to put more damage on the other high pack density, though, so we can work first. And I guess I will dump this on the very low one. I don't care about chromes. So we've had some changes since our last stream last Thursday. I'm now level 100. Finally. I've been, been really pushing for that, because I fucking hate leveling. Actually, no. More correctly, I don't, le I don't mind leveling. I actually like leveling. What I don't like is the punishing loss of XP uh, on every death. That is really hard to deal with. Even with the Omens of Amelioration. Wrong thing. So... Where we're sitting now, this is what the final passive tree looks like. It's everything is more or less the way that uh, you've seen it up until this point. The notable changes that I've made are I no longer have Ghost Dance. I took out Ghost Dance and I took out the mastery I had here and I got another point. And between those three things, I managed to pick up a journey tattoo of the body here and a journey tattoo of the body here. Which ultimately gave us like 200 extra health, which is why we're now over 5,000 health. We also have a new set of boots, which are very nice. Works out to 100 raw max life, plus the max life and the strength. Which is very good. I might roll the cold up to 48% at some point, but... Oh wait, no, it's 45. It's 42 to 45. I thought it was a tier 1. We also got 5% more movement speed, which is nice. Mostly just statistical increases there. Nothing else has really changed too much, I don't think. Yeah, I think... Actually, I think that's just about it. Upgrading my gems and stuff when I get the chance to make things a little bit nicer, but otherwise it's about the same. Oh, I turn on my automation. I'm not too sure at this point what is left to change in the build, like to upgrade. I feel like it's gotten pretty hard to make anything better at this point. Wow. That was a big graphic overload there. I'm surprised I survived it. Only because my omen popped. I imagine my computer is not incredibly happy right now. It is quite warm today.
Hopefully, you can't hear my air conditioner going. That is required, though, otherwise the computer will o literally overheat. So, not much I can do about that. Does my performance feel worse than last time I played? I I know they just did an update. Maybe I need to fuck around with my settings a bit. They I know they changed a bunch of stuff. I think one of the main things is that they cleared the caches, so we'll have to reload the assets that we otherwise had already downloaded. So things will be a little bit slower to start with. But we'll we'll see if it changes or not. Hey Ron. How's everyone doing today? Now I shifted my resolution down with the patch and got a better, a little bit better performance. Okay. Yeah, I know that they have, uh, they have a new setting where it will upscale your resolution. Holy shit, that is a lot of stuff. What grand embers in that? Goblin Edge. Goblin Edge always looks like Heart Seeker to me on first look. Yeah, I know that they have a render at lower resolution and upscale thing going on. I don't really want to screw with that though, because that might harm my my recording setup. Not like in a notable way if I just fix it, but I don't, it's not something I want to do on stream. Because it could just could crash things. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't trust changing that stuff too much on, on stream, but we'll see. We also have a really, really cool gamble coming up later in the stream. I have been... I found a little project of things that uh, we can work on gambling. And I am very excited to show y'all, because it is a very expensive thing. So we'll see if... Uh, we'll see how well it goes. Worth over 10 divine, so... And Fleetfoot. I'm still farming the Ramico tattoos, is what I'm doing right now. Just because Ramico tattoos so well. Simple as that. Oh. Ooh, more fun. I like more fun. That night. I know why the coffins have to pop up as if they're, like, divines, but... Or not divines, as if they're, like, exalted orbs, but... I... Uh, it's a bit annoying seeing on the map being like, Oh, is that something cool? No. It's just that one thing that I dropped because it's worth nothing. And if I let it go into my necropolis, then I just have to pull it out later. It just causes more issues. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I up updated my uh, stream interface a little bit, too. I'm very happy with. I'm still very proud of the stream interface I created. I'm happy that I spent the time that I did. I know a lot of people didn't like that stream, but I enjoyed designing it. Oh, we're going to show them it. Nice. Back what I was hoping for. Turn those off. I don't want people. I don't want people poking us too much while there's stuff going on. Oh, I guess I kind of revealed uh, like one of the gambles. This is the smaller one, but we have a Watcher's Eye that we're going to gamble to. Because they're worth uh, two divine currently, uh, unidentified, and we will see if when we open it, if they turn into nothing or not. Should more storage for them or put here checkbox for patch tabs. I've already forgotten what we're talking about. If you're talking about tattoos or of, or about omens or about more space for embers, all of the above, I wish we had more. Oh, drop weapons as orbs of regret. Do I want to do anything special with this? Not I'll put a Ember of the False God on it. That has a good amount of uh Good amount of weapons that drop, but it's not going to be boosted in the same way that it would if I did, like, full conversion map Rogue Exile. No, so, like that for now. Oh, the coffins, yes, yes. Now I remember what we were talking about. Yeah, I really wish that we had more space for coffins, because I, I swear... 60 spaces is not very much. It really isn't. Like, a stash tab has... If it's a one-by-one one item, it has 144 spaces in it. And even if you cut that in half, that's still 72 spaces. So it's still bigger. The stash tabs are still bigger and better than your entire necropolis. Just a single stash tab. It's kind of sad. Do it. Like, just do what you do with the bestiary. Have... Uh... Have like multiple levels of the necropolis, just keep going downwards. Run out of space, just make it so it automatically expands downwards. Like, this, I don't see a reason not to do that. Like, that is extra coding. No, not, not gonna, not gonna skim over that. That is extra work for them, but like, it's still really important. It's a very important quality of life in Greece. Or you could just display it in a different fact form factor. Like, I love, love the way that they displayed the stuff in the Necropolis. It's really pretty as far as aesthetics go. It is not efficient, but it is pretty looking. And, like, yeah, it would be hard in real life to store 60 bodies. Like, you do need a lot of space for that. 
But also, in real life, you're not going to be collecting corpses! <laughs> oh. Scary. Yeah, it is a full more than a full necropolis for a or more than a full market necropolis for a full craft. I don't I don't understand why they did it that way. Like why why did they make it it the most reasonable way to do something require that you use the entire necropolis? Like I don't understand. I don't understand why they thought that was a good plan. Like they could have just made all of the effects of the coffins just just make them ten times stronger and have six spaces instead of sixty. Well, okay, maybe not ten times stronger, but like... Make them several times stronger and then just use less of them. If we don't need to have... 50... We, like... I don't see what the point is of having... Like of each type of coffin just to get the thing that you want. Like, if I want caster modifiers on something, I'm gonna need at least 3,000%. So I'm gonna need 10 caster coffins. That's a lot of fucking space to save up. And not everyone has the money to purchase stash tabs. I'm very lucky to have a lot of stash tabs. Because I bought them at a time in my life when I had more money. Why can't I? There you are. Okay. Someone is looking. Oh god. Oh god, it revived everything. Oh god. Okay. 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 Yep. No, no, that's. Oh no, it, that one didn't go away, so... Okay, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. That is... That is a disaster they, it's made over there. Oh gosh, that's so many things. Uh... Hear me out, market board for near instant... Oh, I mean, okay. I... <laughs> Most people who have been here are very familiar with my rants on that. Because I would love for us to have a trade system. It would make this game dramatically better. It would, ju it just, it would fix a lot of issues, and it would be good for the community. That's 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 just the end of it. I've I've ranted about it before, so I'm not going to rant about it now. But it it would it would benefit the community a lot to have that. And it, like all they have to do is they just have to. Okay, I realize it's a bit more complicated than this, but they can just port the same design of the instant of the instant trade auction house that they have on consoles for Path of Exile. Just just port the console one over. It's not it's not a perfect auction house. It doesn't look amazing. But it's in it's an instant auction house. Like I don't see a reason not to. It's better to have something subpar than nothing. Like we currently have. But I digress. They, they have heard that argument over and over that we need to have something, and they have decided against it over and over. So, I mean, there's not really much more to... Uh, oops, didn't mean to show that yet. There's, uh, there's not much more to say about it. Like, we... I think my, my stance and pretty much the entire community's stance is very, very clear on it. And so is GGG's, so. It's not really worth arguing about much more. Unless I unless I actually thought that it would have some effect. And then I would I would make multiple long videos about it. 
but I, I don't think it'll have any effect on them. They're already aware that the entire community wants it. And that the entire community disagrees with their standpoint on it. And I wish I had more Ramako embers. I really, I really do not have all that many. Oh, there, there's going to be an auction house in Pee-wee too. They've, they've already announced that. That they are going to do that because they realize they. I mean, in in <laughs> this isn't the way they said it, but they more or less said we realize we can't get away with a game without an auction house, a modern game without an auction house. When they when they talked about it, so like I know that like they're for sure going to do it unless they go back on their words on that. But like I don't see any reason why they would after making, like, such a very public and direct announcement that they were going to do it. I just don't know if they're ever going to add it to this game. Because they have an excuse not to do it. This game. Just like, oh, it's an old game. We don't, we don't need to add it. They say just because they don't want to add it, and they don't like the concept of having an auction house in the game, despite the fact that they obviously don't play the game enough for it to matter for, to them. Because, I mean, if they did play the game enough, they would be screaming at each other to put an action house in. So, I know they don't play the game any in any notable amount. Which is one thing I really really frustrates me about developers, when they don't play their own game, and they make balancing decisions based on their preferences when they don't play the game. Pokemon Go had a huge, huge issue with, like, most people play, working on it, not playing the game, and those who did were extremely casual. Ugh, that was... that was a disaster and a half. I don't know how Pokemon Go is these days, I haven't touched in a long time for that exact reason of I don't... I don't want to get back into that. I found myself getting frustrated too often with their decisions, but I just like, no. No, I'm good. I I can work with Path of Exile as it is. It frustrates me, but I'm fine just looking the other way because I don't think, I don't think they're going to change their stance unless they see a monetary reason to do so. Like a strong monetary reason. These are worth nothing, right? Yeah, these are worth nothing. One more ember. I have a bunch of other embers for different, uh, different groups besides Ramico, but they're not really... I mean, it's, they're not amazing, because they're not gonna have the same benefits that Ramico gives. Ooh, accompanied by a map boss. Okay. Uh, what do I have on this? Map bosses are gonna become a pain. I wish I had the, like, unique monsters drop, uh, uh, drop, uh, unique maps. Scarab on here, that'd be cool. Okay, give me by a map boss. I guess I will... What's the best way to do this? Put the ignite up there, since I can't be ignited. I'll put Ramico on here. I'll make map bosses common with whatever this ends up being. I could frog it. Uh, 
what is something that's not awful? I'm not too afraid of gem wings. I'm somewhat afraid of gem wings, but only somewhat. I'll leave them there. And these are low. Okay. That's down there. I don't want the uh, conversion modifier to be high because genuinely conversion to chromes is not worth it to me. Need quite a few chromes to drop for it to be worth a chaos. Okay, that hurt. Okay, there's a Huna, so that's where our tattoos are. Detonate. No detonate? A detonate. In any case, putting putting aside the whole auction house thing, because that's that's always going to be like a bone of contention with me. Is so long as they don't implement it. Uh, I have to say, this has been a pretty good week. It's been very exhausting, though, so it's been really hard to get videos out. I have videos, like, ready to go out. I just need to, like, do the art for them. Which is why you haven't seen any videos this week on the, on the, uh, uh, Highlights channel. I just straight up haven't had the energy. I do, I do still want to get three videos out this week. I'm probably just going to pile them up on different days. Like on different near... Uh, what is that? It must be a map boss. I'm probably just going to pile them up on different days. We'll see. Hi, Swift. Oh, no. You never have to apologize for being here or not being here. Do whatever makes you happy, and if you need to take time for yourself, then take time for yourself. I mean, I just finished explaining that I've been taking time for myself because I've been tired from all the stuff that I've been doing, so... I am perfectly fine with that. You need to take some time. Meanwhile, moving the chat a bit because it is not right. Why are you like that? There you go. Okay. I changed the uh, I changed the overlay a little bit so the text the text was overflowing pretty badly. Uh, which one is this? This is the first, so I could get two ticks on the board for this. That's worth it. Okay. What Pyro said. We all gotta take care of ourselves. No, not innocence! Not innocence! I like, wanted to call him innocent with how many people he's killed. Innocence, you're about to be found guilty. If I'm about to be, I mean you're already done the floor. Ah, that's a crab. Crab. Crab! He's been buttered. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was hilarious. That's what that was. Oh, gosh. That's the port thing. No. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Thank you. 
Oh, it spawn. Okay, when it spawns packs, it spawns. So when upon spawns packs, it spawns packs from like the list here, basically, because that's the list of packs that it spawns in the map. And because the top pack has a map boss company with it, it's also spawning map bosses. Oh my gosh, that is. <laughs> That sounds pretty stressful. Are they real, like, sticklers for making sure everything's perfect? That's what I would imagine. Or are they actually, like, decent? Actually, Mana Bond might be worth something. I'll pick that up. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fair. It's good. I'm glad it's good, because... Yeah. I've encountered so many just shitty jobs with city shitty employers. So it's just like automatically when I think of an employer, it's just like, oh, that asshole. <laughs> That's more often than not true. I know some aren't, but and I'm glad for that. Twenty seven acres is a lot. A single, like, one-acre property to have a house on is massive. Having 27 acres is ridiculous. That's, like, farmland-sized. That's, that's like, grow 10,000 potatoes-sized. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, that is that is the perfect use of that much land. <laughs> or that much land is like the perfect spot for that then. Oh man, it must take a lot of time. I don't know whereabouts you are, but like we've had a lot of heat waves lately just throughout North America. Ah. Uh -uh. Okay, hold on. Turn that down a little bit since that was way, way, way louder. Six million for twenty-seven acres. That must no that must be somewhat rural then. That seems awfully low. I like I'm from the GTA like a a small uh, a small like heritage home is worth like 4 million. So but that must be pretty that must be decently far away from any city centers. Okay, lots of explosions. Lots of explosions. Lots of explosions. Lots of explosions! Oh, it's a comes binding. Who are you? Fallen Queen. Oh, it's the Crimson Temple boss. Oh, did I? Oh, I must have stepped on an abyss. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. That is a lot of land to cover.
Well, I still definitely do struggle at times with tier 16s. They feel so calm now by comparison to tier 17s. It's moved, it's really moved the bar of challenge for me. Mm, eh. Giannis is better. I'd rather you stay. I don't really want to kill off Isling. Eh, whatever, I'll kill off Isling. Sir Isling. Oh, I guess there was no point making a relationship there, because it's just about to get reset anyways, since I have a, uh... Are you not going to join us? It's no point making a relationship, because we're at the uh, Mastermind, so it's not going to really matter for much longer. I wonder if I can corrupt the comes binding into anything. Nope. Oh. scouting report. I'm trying to sell the comprehensive scouting reports, but I'm really not getting that far. They're, they're supposedly worth like a decent amount, but I'm not really seeing much. Foot. Okay. Okay, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to do things. You're not coming. Okay. What's left in this map anyways? Oh god. Yeah, I might have to actually change my graphic settings a little bit, because it is really struggling today. Way more than it ever has in, like, recent times. I haven't changed my, my settings or anything, so it must, must, must be from the new update. That's good. I'm glad that they're they're taking care of you, Swift. And just remember, when you're thirsty, that means that doesn't mean you need water. That means you are past the point of needing water. You now seriously need water. You are actually supposed ideally you should never be thirsty because you should be drinking often enough that it's not an issue. That is not, like, a realistic thing, but gender, like, technically that's the way it's supposed to be. I mean, I certainly don't do that, but... Anyway, the, the whole point of saying that was just make sure that uh, you drink very regularly, because it's very, very important, especially when it's hot like that. I don't got many followers, I don't want any yell dying. <laughs> that's good that's a very healthy amount I admit I'm closer to like two liters two and a half that's not ideal well actually two and a half is good I just I'm more 
I struggle I struggle to get to two liters, which is a problem. I ideally want to drink like two and a half to three liters a day. Oh, that's good. I was there's a lot more than I than I'm used to around here. Stuff. Okay. Two? What's two of this thing? Okay. Sounds pretty good. Sounds like a pretty good deal. I'm used to the, like, well, technically you get two 15-minute breaks, but realistically we all just put them together to uh, be one 30-minute paid break, and then we don't really give anyone, anyone else any other breaks, and if you want an unpaid break, you can have it, but really, why would you ever want that? And if you actually want that, then we're kind of going to look at you funny and then question you repeatedly on why you do it, and, you know... Typical, like, minimum wage employer bullshit. There's one more error I've missed. Here. Ah, no, no, not, no. So you're trying to close the map, but I'm opening the escape menu. I'm like, no! Okay, and with that, we opened up another Katarina. Ah. Uh. I This is so non important, but like I keep getting like ever so slightly annoyed. Cause I'm trying to clear out a rather large patch of stinging nettles at my place because I need to uh I need to move I basically I need to be able to get into where they are. And it's a lot of stinging nettles. And I definitely got stung today. Twice. By them, so I'm ever so slightly annoyed because it's like on the bottom side of my uh, left middle finger and on my leg, and I'm like, uh, why? <laughs> uh, trying to get some some uh, construction stuff done on the house so that uh, we can have an actual heating system in the house rather than just one heater. <laughs> Thank you. I, I I am good. It's it's not that big a deal. I have I have I have gloves and stuff. It's actually not that bad. Um Yeah, no worries. I appreciate the sentiment. It's actually not that bad in the sense that if you have like decent gear to remove it, that um like like if you have good gloves and like clothes that like fully cover you then it's actually not that bad i found out that with stinging nettles you could just pick like you could just grab them by the stock and just pull them out really easily like with not a lot of force the stocks stay together well and they don't they're not very well rooted so they actually come out easy you just have to find a way to pull them out uh, without hurting yourself which is what i was trying to do today before i realized the gloves that i had 
were which were gardening gloves were just not thick enough. Because like it, like it's straight. Like I pulled out a few sets of them. Oh, like or for like. Okay, not a few sets, like ten or so handfuls of sticking nettles before one finally got through. And it's just, uh I need to actually, like, get better gardening gloves, because I'm just finding whatever random gloves I just happen to have laying around for it, and it's just not working. Bye, Katarina. Yeah, yeah. I also found out that if you take the the like lop off the like the tops where the leaves are, the stems dry out like almost immediately and die, which is really really nice actually. It's very convenient. So I'm kind of using that against them. But yeah, I'm actually I'm in kind of like rush mode right now because I'm trying to get the it done before uh, the construction crews or construction crew is like slated to come by and uh, do the heating system installation that I'm do getting done. And, oh boy, can they not get access to where they need to go right now. And I do not want to send them wading through singing nettles, so... No intention of doing that to someone. Oh, you mean like one of those like big chainsaw looking trimmer things? Baildorp? Baildorp? Mommy? Mommy! Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Katarina. You are so unreasonably nice to me, and I certainly am not going to complain. Okay. Thank you, I don't care about that. Okay. Thing with the wire at the bottom. Oh, you mean like, uh, usually people call those like, weed whackers? My father used to call it a whipper snipper. Which I don't think is actually something other people say, but that's what my father used to call it. So that's what I've always known it as. Oh my god, Brother's Gift! Brother's Gift! <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> that's five divine. I was about to take the Chaos Orbs without even fucking looking at the dip cards. I was about to take the fucking Chaos without looking. Oh my god, that is... <laughs> that's one of the best possible things I could have picked. That with the fucking Veiled Orb? How much the Veiled Orbs right now? Oh my god, they've gone up in price too! The Veiled Orbs are 18 div and the Brother's Gift is 5. That's 23 div from Katarina. That is disgustingly good. Uh, that's the easiest to Oh. Oh, I thought when you said strimmer you were you meant to say trimmer and like mistyped it. Okay, I didn't realize that strimmer was actually a term. Interesting. Oh, Pyro, you, you've heard we or you've heard Whippersnapper before, and I don't mean n not Whippersnapper. 
I think high impact mine is the best. Oh yeah, that's a divine. Oh my god, that's twenty-four divine now. <laughs> what is, what is with this set? The set of things. I know such old powers were something. I've sold a few. Uh, I'm, I admit, like, I, my body's fairly well-tuned for certain activities when it comes to exercising. I, like, I'm pretty decent when it comes to, like, cardio and, like, walking and stuff like that. But when it comes to lifting and using arm, like, basically using arms and shoulders and, like, back muscles... I'm so, I'm so not set up for that. And unfortunately, what that means is that things like actually clearing out weeds and stuff are, is really challenging for me. So I've been kind of uh, struggling a little bit trying to get everything ready in time for the contractors. That and I'm having issues with one of my appliances that is... Threatening to to flood a bunch of my stuff, which I'm not appreciating. But I'm just having a lot of construction stuff this week, so a lot of that's been going on in my head. Have I ever played Stardew? Yes, I have played Stardew before. It's not really... What's the best way to put this? I am the type of person who likes to blow things up. I don't really mesh well with a game that is, like, chill and about making, like, relationships with, uh, with NPCs. It's just not really... Oh, no, 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 not 18 Chaos. Oh, God, please don't let... Oh, God, I hope that didn't go to the trade site. Or I'm going to get fucking bombarded in a second. Yeah, it, it's not really my cup of tea, for better or for worse. Not saying it's a bad game in any way. It is just not really my thing. I've heard that the Stardew fanbase has been pretty happy, though, because of some of the recent updates? I don't know too much about them. I just know that there's some recent updates. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I like farming and stuff in Minecraft. I have always been, like, a Minecraft girl. But, uh... I don't know. Minecraft is a wonderful game that I will never, ever, ever play on the channel. <laughs> I have played, I play, okay, I've played almost 5,000 hours of Path, and I've played dramatically more Minecraft than I have Path, so. Oh, Harvest Moon. I've heard a lot about Harvest Moon and its counterpart, of which I can't think of the name. Not, not Stardew, it's, it's another console game. Animal, Animal Crossing? I think it's Animal Crossing. It's not really my genre, so it's hard to remember. I have never heard of Story of Seasons.
one looks like the most valuable. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, none of those were valuable, I don't think. Chinese trial, okay. Essence crafting, and what's the final one? Prizes. Wait, I have a... Oh, I have a perfect fossil. I don't have any things here, though. I kind of want to roll a perfect fossil on this before I craft it, but... No, nah, I'll flip it. I'll just craft it. Best and worst superpower. I will... I will answer that in a second. Also, when you say best and worst superpower, do you mean, like, for me? Or do you mean just in general? Or, like, just for combat? Or, like, like what's, what are you thinking? Moving speed, uh... Movement speed, give me movement speed, give me movement speed. That's not movement speed. That's not good movement speed. Or, come on. You can absolutely do that. I know you can. Come on, I know you can. Come on, give me something better. Nope. Dead. For you and in- oh. For me, and in day-to-day -day life? Oh. Oh, oh boy. Okay, that's very different than what I was thinking. Turn down the music for a second, just because it'll make it easier for me to think. Actually, wait, no. I don't need to do that. I have my own music. Setting. Okay, what- okay. Okay, that's- that's a good question. I woke up with a random super, what would I hate to have and what would be happy to have? Hmm. Well just just to tell everyone really quickly, I'm gonna run some breach stones so that we can do the uh uh so that we can do the hidden Maven's invitation. Okay, what would I like to wake up with? You know what? I'm going to start with what I think I would hate to wake up with. And that would be... There are certain... There, I mean, there's always the flip side of a superpower that is, like, very hard to control. Uh, like, if you have super strength and you just, like, can't control it, or, like, you have... If you're, like, Black Canary and have, like, the supersonic voice and can just, like kill people accidentally like i mean i think her her origin story is that she deafened her entire first grade class because she uh because her superpower activated for the very first time that was for a lore from young justice um so putting aside ones that like are completely uncontrollable honestly i'm gonna say the worst one for me would be invisibility now, I realize a lot of people would like invisibility. And there's a reason why I specifically wouldn't want invisibility. And that is the fact that I feel like you would lose the trust of a lot of people. If you could just silently go places and do things without people's knowledge, they would never be able to relax around you. Like, I can just imagine how many people would just immediately just be like, Oh wow, that's so cool! <laughs> Don't use it around me! <laughs> you wouldn't do that, right? Like, like that kind of thing. Like, I feel like if people found out that's what you could do, they would be super uncomfortable. That would be kind of... unpleasant. 
Oh yeah, immortality is kind of interesting. Because yeah, like immortality is a, the thing that a lot of people seek and most of them probably would never actually want if they got it. Because immortality is only great until you just don't stop living basically when you want to. Because, I mean, people need stimulation in their life, and it's not very stimulating to just... Not, like, okay. Being, like, unable to die necessarily would give you some ability to, like, to go and do the things that you want and the time you want to do them, and you don't really need to rush, and you have time to do lots of things, but... I feel like things would get very samey after a while, and you would also get used to people just dying around you, and that would suck. A lot. So, don't, don't think, don't, don't think I would like that either. As for what I would like to have, I think the safest answer, not safest answer, but, like, the most reasonable answer for what I would like to have probably would be teleportation. Because teleportation means that I can go I mean, wherever I want to go. Because there's certainly a lot of scenarios where teleportation would be extremely powerful. It's a very... It would be a very simple way, assuming you could teleport things with you, it would be a very simple way to uh, earn money, because you could transport things very quickly. Also, I have... I mean, most of my friends are online. Let's, let's be realistic here. I like, I like people... I like a lot of people who are in a lot of diverse places. I like diverse personalities. I like very quirky and strange people, and that often means that I go far and wide for them. And I would love to be able to just, like, oh, I want to teleport to the States today so I can see a friend, and, oh, I want to de teleport to, um, France today because I want to see that friend, or, like, I want to see my homeland, which would be Holland, because, tech I mean, technically, I am uh, of Dutch descent. Like, like st stuff like that, and, like, again, and just traveling, too, but just, like, being able to actually spend time with the people I love and care about in person would be really, really, really nice. And that's not always possible, because planes are very expensive and very time-consuming. And also, I have creatures that I take care of that I can't just leave with other people for a number of different reasons. So, it's it's kind of it's kind of challenging. I would love to be able to just go more places. That'd be I think that would be really awesome. I think it would really open up a world of possibilities in a way that would be kind of the sky's the limit. Oh my gosh, some stuff. Okay, I'm gonna properly read chat. Uh, time manipulation. Yeah, that is. Hmm. Oh, frozen. <laughs> Yeah, okay. With the whole immortality thing, Swift, usually there's there's some sort of caveat, like either either you're not able to die through um like natural means, so you can still be murdered, or you are completely and totally invulnerable to like murder, but like you still age. I, I don't know, like, I, I don't know, if it's, if it's like, 
you just cannot die no matter what. Like, like the the planet gets destroyed and and it's you're still alive. I don't know. Like that feels, um, I don't know. That that definitely sounds like a hellish scenario. Time manipulation does sound pretty pretty interesting. I agree with that. I don't know if. I don't know if it's like what I would want, but you know what? Okay, there is there actually actually I think I'm gonna change what my superpower is, like what my preference would be, because. While I would love to have teleportation, while that would be, like, a really, really nice thing, there is probably- there is something that I would like much more than that. And that is just to have... energy? Like, it might sound kind of silly, but some- something that would allow me to, I don't know, speed up my metabolism so if I just consume more food, then I could have more energy, or like the time stop kind of thing, so that I can go to sleep and time and like my brain gets the rest that it needs, and then when I wake up, no time has passed, but I still feel fine. Oh, this is. Rather expensive. Oh, this is Zoff's heart, so this is worth, like, 70c. That's nice. I'm gonna throw that in my thing for now. Okay, it's off time. Yeah, anything that would allow me to actually have more energy in the day. Because... I... For a variety of reasons that I won't go into, I tend to have a lot less energy than the average person. And I also have a lot of motivation to do a lot of different things. I always have stuff that I want to work on, and I just... I feel like I... There's, there's an infinite, truly infinite amount of things that I would like to do and learn, and build and create and if i had the energy to do it i feel like i could fucking change the world with it but i just don't have that sort of energy yeah i don't i i would be totally fine giving you some of the snow that we get we get Far too much snow for my liking. So, so much snow. I just, uh, I hate shoveling the driveway. It requires, like, upper body strength, and that is, again, the one thing that I tend to lack. Like, if it's... I can walk pretty, like, a pretty long time. I can run a pretty long time, but just upper body strength? Nope. I don't, there's nothing I do to train that really. Actually, that's not completely true. Uh, Romeo, one of my puppers, is about a little bit below 100 pounds. No foul on his body. He's pretty much entirely muscle. He is a uh, lab mastiff mix. And him pulling me on walks is certainly enough to train some upper body strength. Because I definitely, I actually have become fairly strong because of that, but, like, I don't have much staying power with that. He is a, he is a big boy. He is a big heckin' pupper. 
big fluff and pupper. And I love him very much. Ooh, a blessing. Nice. I wonder what his cute little snoot is doing. Probably laying, lay, just like laying in his area sleeping. He has his own separate area to do whatever he wants to do in. Okay, so we've been doing a whole bunch of stuff. We now have the formed and the hidden available to us. Oh, he is really fucking strong. I'm in the 170 to 190 pound range. And he is... He can pull me. I generally don't let him pull me. Because I'm pretty good at bracing myself now that I'm familiar with how to respond to him. But... He can be a little butt face sometimes. I don't want to make this too hard. I don't I don't actually know how strong I'm going to be against the Breach Lords altogether. They kind of scare me sometimes. That's, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going to do the formed first. Maybe I should, like, actually make an uh, Instagram or something like that at some point and put pupper pictures up, because I know people like pupper pictures. Whoa! Phoenix almost got me there. No. Okay. Minotaur's underground. Slam. Yep, I should avoid that. Nope, he's gonna come up on me. There he is, yeah. Uh, I cannot put a sled on him. I don't... Can I put a sled on him? I don't think I can put a sled on him. Because he has a uh, pre-existing injury with one of his back legs. He, uh... At some point, he, uh, he tore something called the cruciate ligament. Which is like a doggy Achilles tendon, basically. Uh, he wiped out while, uh, like, running flat out in the dog park, uh, like, when it was icy, and it just, well, actually, it wasn't, okay, it was somewhat icy, it, I remember the, uh, the, it was starting to, uh, dry up for the season, I was like, oh, finally, we can actually go to the fucking dog park, that'd be nice. Um. Unfortunately, that did not work out very well. Yeah. He had to be inside for a long time. And he did not enjoy that. He did not enjoy that one bit. Especially because he is a creature who needs a lot of exercise, and denying him basically all exercise because he just can't do that without harming himself is really awful. He's he's doing a lot better now. 
uh, it is it is an injury that I always have to be aware of with him. So I can't. I just got to be careful because otherwise he could tear it again. Because like once it's one of those things where like once he, once it's been hurt, it can be hurt again, and that is a real danger. Thankfully, he is recovered now, though, and he is quite happy. I just wish that I could do more walkies with him in the day. I, I still I give him a notable walk every day, plus he gets out multiple times a day in addition to that. But, I don't know, I, I always... That's the thing with pets, is I always want to give them more than I, I've been giving them. Like, ah, uh, if... I would love to build him an actual fucking doghouse, uh, like to put it in the house so he can snuggle into that. I'd love to get him a proper bed, doggy bed, because I need to get him a Kevlar bed, otherwise he destroys it, and then he eats it, because he is a dumbass. Uh, sometimes he's like, I just see him laying there on, on like the hardwood floor, and I'm just like, you know... You could be comfortable if you didn't eat literally everything I give you. That, that like, like you could genuinely be comfortable. You've done this to yourself. I can't afford to just replace beds, like, every, every week. It's just too much. Even if I give him, like, a blanket or something from, like, the thrift store, he's just gonna rip it apart and eat it. And then I'm gonna have to deal with him. Ugh. He is such a fucking troublemaker. <laughs> what he needs is a puppy. He needs a puppy to, like, drain all his energy out of him. Okay. We are going to do the hidden now. I haven't done the hidden yet this league, so we'll see how this goes. Who is where? This is Zoth. That's Ulantol. Ulantol's first, since he does physical damage. He is the most scary here. And we have no... We don't have to worry about Chiula. That's good. Ow. That's Tool out now. I have to watch over Tool. Zoth is down. And tool is working. So is Ash. Oh god. Oh god, he I forgot that Ash can teleport. I have to be careful with him, because he can just blow me up if he hit. That attack. That attack specifically. <gasps> Orb of conflict. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't actually know what this is. What is this? I particularly raise the strength of one seeing Exarch or Eater of Worlds modifier an item and lowers the strength of another. Oh my god, this is one and a half div. Oh man, I would love to raise the power of I would love to raise the power of, like, the action speed. That, I could do that. I could try that. There's not really a point raising the power of this. I, I have, uh, my fire exposure does 18%, not 12%, so I would have to raise it above 18% to have any effect. And unnerved just doesn't raise the chance of unnerved, and I hit a lot, so it's... Might I could use it on something like that. Okay. Oh my gosh, I would. There's just so much shit that I would love to give him. If I had, if I had like a bunch of money, you can damn well be sure that one of my first stops would be the pet store. Because oh my gosh, I would love. There's just so much stuff I would love to do. Like, I I want to build him an indoor doghouse out of, like, solid wood. Something that, like, he could gnaw on if he wants, and, like, it'll still be fine. 
and then I could like get a Kevlar bed and I can put that in there and um uh, I think what else I'd want to give him. Well, I mean, I'd want to give him every toy in existence and get him a ton of like nice bones and stuff that are good for him and just just everything he could possibly ever want, really. Another teleport. Uh, I don't really need this. Go in there. Ooh, conflict. Should I sell this or use this? Hmm. Should probably use this. It'd make more sense, though, to roll... to, like, buy grand embers... Yeah, I think I would buy Grand Embers and before using something like this, because I feel like a raising raising something from greater to grand isn't nearly as important as rating, raising something from grand to exceptional. Actually, an exceptional action speed, I think, is only 5%. I think... Lesser and greater are four, and then grand and exceptional are five, I think. So that wouldn't actually be very cool. I probably would have the best bet up here if I re-rolled the fire res. Because I could probably get that up to 5% with grand, and then maybe 6% with exceptional. Same thing with the critical strike. So I guess I just need to re-roll things with grand embers. The answer to that. I do actually have a few. But if I would win a billion dollars, I wouldn't tell anyone, but there would be signs moment. <laughs> That's what I do if I won a lot of money. I think what I probably would do is I would tell people, but what I would tell them is that I won a much smaller amount of money than I actually did. And then I would take all the people I care about out for food. And if I am not near those people, I would give them gift cards to go and bring themselves out for food. Because I have been supported very heavily by a lot of people in my life for a very long time. And I would like to return that favor to them. Because they certainly fucking deserve it after all the work they put in to help me. Try not to forget my people. Chimera. Hydra. R. Oh, no, we're not doing can't regen. Whoa, that was a big lag spike. Oh, Pup Resort experience. Unfortunately, that would not work. Oh, that would not work in the slightest. And there is a good reason why. Romeo is a challenging creature. I love him to bits. I will always love him, and he will always be my good boy. No matter what anyone will ever say. He is a great and amazing creature. He also is terrified of most human beings. That is the unfortunate reality, because he is a rescue. And 
he has had some bad experiences with humans, and because of that, he has more or less consistent anxiety now. And I don't think I could leave him around other human beings who I don't trust and know personally. I would just want to be, like, so bloody careful that I know exactly what's going on. His well-being is one of the most important things to me in my life. I'm very careful with him. I spent a very long time training him. Like, many, many, many hours training him. Going to, like, a professional build trainer and stuff. Taking some time to make sure that I understand him. And not just... I'm not trying to, like, I don't train, I have not trained him for obedience, I have trained him for, like, understanding. Like, he does, he does follow me obediently, but that is not because he's scared of me, that is because he trusts me. I have worked for years to make it so, because I want him to feel comfortable. But unfortunately, he's not a creature that I could just leave with people. I would not really be all that comfortable with that. Unless I have someone who, like, I've actually spent the time training to handle him. Because, like, a trained handler absolutely can, can deal with him. Like, my, my, tr my last trainer, I would leave him with, with my last trainer in a heartbeat. Because he understood Romeo and like how Romeo thinks and why he does what he does. What's that? Ooh, luring bounty. That's really nice. Well, I'm just getting ridiculous drops today. I gotta say, what is going on? Anything else interesting here? I don't know why Forward Gaze and Emperor's Luck and... Okay, I know why Emperor's Luck isn't, isn't shown, but like... But like, Sabote's Vow and Forward Gaze are worth a lot of money. I don't know why those aren't showing up in my It's moves into it. Okay. Yeah, Rummers, Rummers is a good boy. He's just... He just has a lot of anxiety. And as someone who also has anxiety, I get that. Sometimes you just snap at people because you're just having a hard time with things in your mind that have nothing to do with other people. And sometimes that's the way he is, too. But I still love him. And I can tell he's a good boy, because anytime he does snap at me, like... Like, if he... I mean snap in the figurative sense. He does... He has snapped at me before, literally. Um, there's this thing called air biting, which is basically, like, a creature will snap like, at the air beside you, like, with no intention of actually biting you, just to be like, hey, I need you to back off. And, like, he's done that before. But, like, I can always tell in any time where he's, like, actually legitimately snapped at me, like, the second after it happens, like, he, like, freezes because he realizes that something just happened that he wasn't okay with, basically, and he's like, wait, I didn't mean to do that, and then he, like, comes over and... and and stares at me lovingly and plants his butt on me, which is his way of saying he loves me for some reason.
but that's I don't know why, but that's just his way of saying he loves people is he sits on them. I, I'm going to stop talking about him too much because, like, I definitely have the, uh, the parent, I will talk about my child forever kind of thing going on with uh, my puppers. Uh, they're, they're my good children. He's a butt face sometimes, but I still love him. I like using like silly insults like butt face because I because it, it it's just kind of like my way of of showing frustration but I don't actually mean it and it's pretty hard to take offense to if someone walks up to you and like hi you're you're a butt face like maybe if you were 6 or 7 years old but not not as an adult <laughs> Uh, he knows I love his dumb butt face. Ah, explosions, explosions! Stop explosioning me. God damn it, how many times is this gonna open? Oh, a breakfast defense. Are reckless defenses valuable? I can't remember. Okay, maybe if they rolled double fours and not a two and a four, but... I gotta say, I'm really happy with the turnout tonight. There's a lot of a lot of y'all are here. Thank you all so much for coming. Makes me especially happy seeing as we missed Tuesday stream for unavoidable reasons, and it's nice nice to see. I really do like streaming. And oh boy, can I, can I talk to myself forever? Well, I mean, technically I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to, to y'all, but... I can talk without anyone responding to me for quite a while. <laughs> I will once again say that I hate Poison Ivy. hate Poison Ivy so much. Oh my gosh. Not Poison Ivy, just I... oh, fucking hell. Stinging Nettles, not Poison Ivy. I hate Poison Ivy too, but I have thankfully never had the misfortune of touching Poison Ivy. Well, we should do one of our gambles soon. Okay. This is my question. I love the, ha the hack.net OST so much. So good. I do not regret buying this OST. So, so. If I actually listen to music, but in my off time, I would so, so listen to this. I don't, because I just don't naturally listen to music in my off time. But...
<laughs> Pickle face? <laughs> That's cute. I can just imagine and you as, like, but a small classum being like, you pickle face. Okay, we're going to finish this particular map, and then we are going to do our gamble for our Watcher's Eye that we have. By gamble, I mean I'm going to identify it rather than selling it as un unidentified, because unidentified, it's too diff. That's great, but I want to see what it is. And it'll be worth somewhere between 5C and 5 mirrors. Be worth something. Probably. But the good thing is, with stuff like that, is they're not corrupted by default, so you can corrupt it too. If it turns out to be kind of meh. Because a kind of meh watcher's eye that you roll corrupted blood that's exactly the that's exactly the implicit i was about to mention if you roll cor corrupted blood can't be inflicted on you on most things it's pretty fucking good it's actually not a bad pick well i mean it's a bit of a weird stat setup that's a max roll. No, that's not max rolls. Okay, I thought it was max roll DS. Pretty good for projectile damage. Makes me very happy. It yeah, will corrupted blood and ES on their own are Enzy. Corrupted blood and projectile damage, 15. Corrected Blood and Poison are about 20. No, less than 20. Like 10. This is probably worth at least 20. I'm thinking Projectile Damage, ES, and Corrupted Blood together is probably what this is worth. So maybe 29C? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know, Pyro. You tend to be a little bit more... Uh, you tend to be our resident expert on jewels. Do you see... Do you have any good ideas for Corrupted Blood, Max ES, Projectile Damage, Poison Damage, and Spell Block? Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Go to the Decoy Totem. Gosh darn it. Where did you go? There you are. Okay, yeah, no, you're done. <laughs> yeah, if you roll literally that right there, <laughs> then it's good. Okay, that is that is certainly very funny. A div? Okay. Divs are 107 right now, so I'm just going to put it up for 99. Just it's simpler to put it in my 99 tab. Okay, we are going to gamble our unidentified watch Sai. So it's worth 2 to find right now. And we are going to see whether it bricks or not. Rub, 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 rub. Polish, 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 polish. Boop. Fire damage will affect it by anger, physical damage while using pride. Mm. <laughs> That's... Mm. I mean, there is a lot of fire to, or physical to fire skills. I don't know, like... But then you have to run Anger and Pride. Which is 50% mana reserv... Or, sorry, that's 100% mana reservation total before reductions. 
Maybe like a melee or a mix could use it, but I don't know. That's doesn't seem. I don't know. Uh, okay, so it's starting at like thirty C for just anger. For just pride, it's starting at like thirty C. These two together, I uh, it says two divine, but. They're all a month ago, so, uh, I don't know. That's not, that's bad enough that I think I am going to, I'm going to corrupt it. Actually, for, for the, um, where is it? For Master... No. Master of Monsters? Yes. For Master of Monsters, uh, we, you need 50 Syndicate Masterminds, Beastary Bosses, Val Omnitex, or Delve Bosses. Uh, so, if I do a... a lo Locus of Corruption uh, Alva Temple, I could kill a Val Omnitech. And... For aggravated antagonists, I could also get Fall on Attack. So actually, double corrupting that would probably be worth it. Fortunately, they're two div a piece, but. Eh. This is <laughs> this is going to be a four divine loss if this bricks it. I don't really have anything crazy on here either, so it's just locus of corruption. Okay, let's let's run the Watcher's Eye and see if we can get something cool for it. Oh, Veiled Orb selling for 18 divine. Well, I'm happy about that. I have made far too much money today. I am certainly lucky. <laughs> Breathe. Actually, this might be a decent time to to do like a quick gamble. On not gamble, but like to turn in the dip cards we have because we actually have some really fun ones here that could turn out well. Belt? Nope. Ring. Definitely not. Void. Oh, Barracks pass with malevolence. That could be good for any night build, maybe. Uh, no, I don't think it's worth anything. Augments. Emperor's Luck. Alchemy. Imagine this turned into Divine. That would be ridiculous. Just get a, a Divine out of Emperor's Luck after all the other cool shit we've gotten today. Like, it's so unlikely, but that just would have been so cool. You have a doubling? That's actually worth 5C? 5C. 8C. Wow, that's pretty good. Harvest is some of the, Harvest and Divination are some of the best, most expensive scarabs this league. Oh. 
Okay, let's see if we can corrupt our Watcher's Eye into something... anything else. <laughs> We still have our big gamble coming up, so... Don't go too far. Because that wasn't the big gamble. We have a much, much larger gamble coming up. That was nothing by comparison. This is definitely the unfortunate thing when it comes to Watcher's Eyes, is they can be very valuable or very not valuable. It's unfortunate that it turned into nothing, but, I mean, eh. It happens. I'm not easily deterred. Especially with the amount of money I've made today. Okay. Thanks, Pyro. I know you have a good ear for that. I have a pretty hard time hearing what the actual balance is on my own, so it is always good to have other people's opinion. Awesome. Thanks for telling me. Breach. Oh god, I accidentally opened another breach at the same time. Did I open a third breach or something? What just happened? Or... What is going on? Oh wow, that breach stayed open a really long time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't do this to me. Path? Don't do this to me, Path! This is a very expensive temple path! Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Uh... One second, VOD viewers. Okay, I think we're back. Oh, okay, I see what you said, Pyro. Okay, that was, uh, that was a thing. That was a thing, but, uh... <laughs> we're alive again. Okay, please tell me, please tell me that we still have, yeah, the portals are still here. Okay, had to run from the start, but that's not so bad. Thank you, Pyro. Yeah, my, my full, in my internet fully dropped. That's rare. Okay, where actually is this thing? I don't know if I died or not, though I guess it doesn't matter. I don't lose anything for dying now.
Okay, I should actually look. Where is the... Oops, reference over here. Wait, we have an altar of ascension? Can't I use... Can't I use an apex of ascension for something, like, actually decent? Enough gems to make one gem. Okay, now we should be able to go. Yep, we can go up to the top here. It has the chance to drop a vial? Or it's the chance to use a vial? Because I think that's where you use the. Okay, so now we're going to do the double corruption on the Watcher's Eye, see if this actually turns into anything, seeing as it's certainly not worth anything right now. Let's see if we brick this! Fuck. <laughs> ah, there goes four div! Two div for the, for the map, two div for the unidentified... Watcher's Eye, that turned out to be nothing. Wow, that's not even some alchemy shards, it's just fucking nothing now. <laughs> oh, fuck. It poof. It's a cool little animation, though, I've never seen the poof animation before. Probably not the thing I should be focusing on. But... <laughs> I don't know, it is a cool animation. I'll think about that rather than the money I just lost. Um. Oh, wow. There's a lot of fiery things here. Why is there so many fiery things? Oh, I got a jewel. And some weird things. Is that actually decent? Mm, I don't think that's decent. Regen might be decent. Nah, it's probably not worth it. Oh well. What jewel did I just get? Tempered flesh. Negative one strength per strength and allocated passives. Two percent increased life recovery rate per ten strength. Okay. Well, if I go out and buy a vial of transcendence, I can make a transcendent flesh, which is worth forty C. Make some money on it. I mean, I might as well if I don't get a vial from what I'm about to do down here. Good way to get a tiny bit of money back. I'll look at that stuff later. When I'm not under attack. Okay, I want to rush down this way. 
This is just a uh, level one. Wait, so I want to go this way then. Down here to be the apex of corruption or apex of ascension. I'm confusing apex of ascension with locus of corruption. Okay, where's the boss? Where's the bossy boo? There you are. Hello, Huna. Nope. So it's a vial of transcendence I need? Vial of transcendence, okay. Man, I'm getting the uh, encoding overload every time I load into uh, a new zone now. And I was not getting that problem. Cool, tempered flesh. Into transcendent flesh. Multi per 10 strength unallocated radius. Ooh. Ooh, crit multi. That's sexy. I like crit multi. Cool. And this is worth 40. Nice. Oh, I should actually check really quickly what else is. I don't know if there's anything else of value in here, but. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is the Sadist Den. That's just. Ish, that's just torment and spirits. Torment and spirits are never worth anything. There's a sanctum of vitality here. I don't know what that is, so I'll check over here quickly. You have there you are. That's not really worth anything. Okay, whatever. Okay, we are about two hours into the stream, so we are going to take a quick washroom break. Good chance to stretch and refill our water and stuff, you know, quick intermission. Uh, then we will be coming back and doing our gamble. And just so I can show you, this is our gamble here. There are... Wait, how many were there again? I think there's there's fourteen hundred and forty tattoo Ramico tattoos here. I paid fourteen hundred and forty chaos for all of this. So about a eleven, twelve, thirteen div, kind of that kind of that range. And we are going to gamble that when we come back. All of it. We're gonna do big, big crazy gamble. <laughs> okay. If you wanna see that, make sure to stick around. And we will be up, be back in a few moments. Barb.
Thank you, Pyro. I, de I definitely just realized that as you said it. <laughs> okay, I was just changing my uh, stream overview, so I didn't change it. So if you, nothing actually happened. Okay, so we are going to gamble 1,500 Remico tattoos. Specifically, 1,440 Chaos Worth. But still. Hold on. Easiest way to display stuff here. Going to be. If I move things around. Okay, changing what it says in the top right. Okay, so investment. We invested fourteen hundred and forty chaos. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Okay. So we're going to be gambling 1,500 Remco tattoos. Yay! Cost 1,440 chaos, or about 13 div. And we are going to see what we get out of all of this stuff. Now, let me start on that. We'll probably we'll do it one line at a time. Because that's about as much as the uh, inventory can take. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start lining these up. Our spell suppression ones, the shamans that are the most valuable over there. Actually, expand these out, but they all end up over there in the corner. This is going to be one of the biggest gambles I've done, just like item wise in this game. I've done bigger ones price-wise with, like, really expensive alternate quality gems back when those existed, but not, not this many items at once. This is a ridiculous amount of tattoos. Just processing this is going to actually be kind of challenging. I'm actually kind of worried that this might not return m the money that I, in that I put into it. Just a little bit worried. Because I inputted a lot of money, and it is always nerve-wracking when you do that.
Maybe other people are used to it. I'm not completely Start putting some stuff in here. Just to make sure that I continue to have enough space to take everything I need to take in. to make sure I don't accidentally gamble a bunch of shamans, because that would be extremely disastrous financially. And the final bit. Oh, too much. Do you have any others over here? You do. Okay, so in the end, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61 shamans at about, let's say, 35 CFPs, just to be, to be careful and conservative about it. Okay, 61. Times 35. 2,135. Oh. Oh, that is, uh... That is a fair bit. Okay. Plus, the fleet foots which sell for 5 C apiece. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 9. 59 times 5. 295. Plus... What? 2135 equals a total return of 2430, giving us a profit of 1000 chaos or 9 divine profit. Oh shit. <laughs> that is ridiculous. And when you sell the, uh, the shamans in, uh, when you sell them uh, as divine, you actually can make even more money, because you can sell five of them for two divine. Two divine is uh, 108 chaos right now, so that's 216 divided by five is 43 chaos. So it's actually really, really good. Yeah, it's a really good return. So this is uh this is all your, your chance all. If you want to make like an average of a 50% return or 50% profit on things, you can go do this. Just keep in mind that if you're only doing small amounts, then 
you absolutely can still get screwed. Like, if you're only doing, let's say, 200, it's totally possible that you just only get, like, three shamans. It is possible for you to get screwed by RNG completely. It's... So far, I have not lost a single gamble I have done with Ramako tattoos. But it is just... Just be, be aware that if you have a very small sample size, you might lose on it. So just be careful gambling the money that you have and make sure that you're not using stuff that you need for other things, basically. Okay, wow, that's... That turned out really well. <laughs> Well, let's plop this down a place, doing a thing. So we're going to do this in the uh, typical fashion that I do the thing in. I'm going to mark a chaos price, and I'm going to mark a divine price. So that, depending on what currency people are looking at, they can get a different. Oh. I'm right about them. Do they want? Oh, do they want us to just swallow? I'm so bad at that. I'm so bad at forgetting. Oh my god. I'm so bad at it. So often, I'm just like. I get a message from someone like, are you ready yet? I'm like, oh no, it's been 20 minutes. Usually, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I, I'm bad at that. <laughs> I am bad at that. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Thanks for coming, Pyro. It's always really nice to see you. And I appreciate your help. Okay, so now that we have finished that, and their prices, nope, no, the price has been marked. Okay, in a second, we'll be finished this. Prices will be marked. Then we can do a thing. So, five chaos. That's basically what they're And then. Someone's selling them. Someone's selling the Fleet Foots for 15 to, to a Divine. That's a really bad deal. Oh, okay. I'm going to sell it to 16 to a Divine then. That's still only... You're only getting 80 Chaos worth from that for a Divine, which is 108. So, I don't... Well, whatever. I guess I'll just be better than whatever's on the market. I feel a bit bad. I always feel a bit bad when it's like, that's totally not worth it. Like, if you just bought it in Chaos, it would be cheaper, but... You know what? I feel bad. Actually, no, people might just take what I have and just flip it themselves. So, <laughs> I probably shouldn't just mark it, mark it down too much, because if I do, there's always a chance people will just buy it and resell it, who already have more money than they know what to do with. So. What was I going to do? Oh, something that I tend to do with uh, with when I have like a lot of ex like a lot of one type of like really expensive item is I will mark a portion of them as do not index. Basically, a portion that is larger than the amount that someone would want to buy at one time. Generally. Because generally, someone doesn't need more than 10 shamans at once. So with this, 
it will show on the uh, on the trade site that I only have 22. So people will go ahead and they will buy stuff, and then I can refill it, but I won't be flooding the market. Oh, at least it won't look like I'm flooding the market. I do it a lot with gems specifically, because I've been I was leveling gems while doing while leveling the character. So I have my first gem, which is it's in a 49C tab, so it's marked for 49C. And then I have two that are that are meant to skip. Oh wait, that one's not done leveling. That's weird. I have one that's meant to skip. So I will for I will give this to someone when they want to buy this one, and this one will stay up. But then I won't have just like a flood of uh gems in at one particular price. Also, these did finish. And these go back up. And what do I have for red? The actually I'll put a stone roll. These? Nope, that's done. Actually, I have a concentrated effect that's just about done, which means... Do I have a concentrated effect that's good here? Already below 21. I was going to say I could gamble it, but no, I don't need to gamble it. Okay. There we go. It was later. Okay, cool. Now that we've done all of that stuff, we are going to do a couple more things. I want to eventually do Uber Elder. It probably won't be tonight. But to do that, we need to kill... We need to go and kill the Shaper. So... Let us go Shaper. Uh, yeah, I can probably... Yeah, I think I can witness him without too much terror. I think this build is strong enough that I can do him in this. For those who aren't familiar, in each corner of the map there is a map boss, a random map boss from the Atlas that we just have to kill quickly. Yep, cool. Usually teleports over here for a second phase. Okay. Yes, yes, you're very big and scary. A giant penis, I know. Okay, next one. Come. Okay, this one's not going to last very long since he doesn't have a huge amount of defense. Tom tends to be more a mixed offense defense, so despite his looks, rather than just being particularly tanky. This is the obnoxious spider one. I might actually be able to burn her down fast enough to kill her. Oh, I stopped! Damn it, I stopped at the wrong time, so she got away. She kind of relies on debuffs, so if you burst her down, she just evaporates. Like that. Sorry, Arakali. And Gravitius. Nope, goodbye. Oh my god, someone wants to buy a lot of fleet foots. Uh... Nope, not you. God damn it. I meant to... Just to do that. Okay. 
Caper time! Fitness Shaper. Witness me. Witness me. Scary. It's beam time! Oh my god, my damage! Holy shit! I got him down to 50% in that much time. Holy shit. I forgot how ridiculous this character can be. Because I've been doing all the new content, like the tier 17s and stuff. And then I come back and I do stuff like the Shaper, who has been in the game for the better part of a decade. And, well, he's, uh... He's a he's a boss. Kind of. That's the thing about making your character tier 17 ready is it also kind of trivializes some of the other stuff in the game that uh, you used to do. Does he teleport you a second time? I can't remember. Yep, yep, I know. There you are. Balls. Okay, and then oh well, this is this is not Uber, so this is the easy one where you just get to stand in, in the in the bubble. And then at the end, he beams right there to try and screw you. Oh wait, that's not him. That's his. Uh... Oh, she she simulacrumed him, so now there's an extra shaper right now. Oh, it's gone. Ah, Yeah, unfortunately that is like a hard limit, is you can't get him below a third. Unless you kill him in a certain amount of time, I think... I think if you kill him in, like, un in under a second or something like that, you can skip, you can phase skip him, so I won't have, you just, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing right now, but I don't have that much damage. I have a lot of damage. I don't have that much damage. It's crazy to me, though, that I can just do a witness shaper like it's nothing. Because the witnessing is actually a really big deal. Because one of the things that she does, the, the Maven, is she really likes to give regen to things. And when it comes to big bosses like this, that is atrocious to deal with. And Bubble. I should definitely do Uber Shaper, because I am more than capable of it, apparently. And Beam. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you... You tried. You You did try, Shaper. You did. And I appreciate that about you. But also... You didn't try very hard. The person wants 59 Fleetfoots, apparently. That's a thing. For three divine, I can do that. Oh, I got, so I got the Fragment of Shape, which is worth oh, 70 C. Got those two, which are good. And 20, 30, 40, 50. Go. That's suspicious. They might be flipping them. But... Oh, well.
Wait, they probably bought them as Chaos because it's cheaper, and then they're going to resell them as Divine. That's probably what they're doing. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have revealed this belt because now it's worth Oops. Whoopsie toodles. And wait, how much is this worth on its own? Can't see. And hey, max life. That's actually pretty good. That's, yeah, that's not bad. Can we roll it like really high quality? Twenty-seven. I can do better than that. Maybe I can't? Can I not do better than that? I can't do better than that, apparently. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. This is probably worth about 40 C. So, put it up. 39 C. I like to do the nines because it tends to make it really easy to undercut other people. And also, for the people who are actually doing it, I find that it's a lot easier to do rather than typing 10, which requires me to Take a hand off the keyboard to do one, one zero, unless you use the numpad, and I, I use the numpad for other things. You can just hit nine, which is much nicer. Kind of, just kind of a little preference of mine. Okay, well, apparently this isn't going to be a big deal to do the shapers, so I'm not going to bother showing you any more shapers. I'll do the rest of them off, off stream because, yeah. We have been going a decently long time, so we are going to finish up very, very soon. First, though, we are going to do an Uber at Ziri because we need an Uber at Ziri still. Uh, if you look over at the Feared, we are still missing Alluring Abyss, which is Uber at Ziri. So, we are going to run the It's nice to get a chance to show off how powerful this build is, because apparently it's actually pretty decent. Okay, I knew it was pretty decent, but, like... Sometimes, like, you, you get into a mode when you're doing the tier 17s where it's like, oh, I guess I'm not actually all that powerful. And then you go back and you do stuff like this, and it's like, oh... I guess it's not that I'm not powerful, it's just that I'm doing the hardest content in the game. Right. Oh shit, I have no portal scrolls! Oh no! Uh, I hope I don't die! Or this is gonna be really sad. I can probably pick it up from something. Okay, you go away. And you go away. Man, I wish doors opened for you in the same way that clasped hands now open. That'd be nice. This would streamline gameplay. I'm trying to keep an eye out to see if a uh, a portal scroll drops, because I don't have any. I took them out of my inventory so that they wouldn't be in the way when we were gambling, and um... That was an issue, apparently. 
Okay, let's get rid of her in the back, because she's the most dangerous. And then I guess you are last. Okay, oh, you have... Feels weird to be, like, so in need of Portal Scrolls. Not really a problem I, I encounter usually. Man, stop that. Stop walking in and out of rooms! I usually... I usually bring them with me. And I don't use a portal gem because portal gems have cast time. And I don't mind sacrificing a single slot in my inventory for a for portal scrolls. They're incredibly cheap. There we are. That over there. Oh my god. What what was that? It must have been the lightning strike circles that did that. Only thing I can imagine that would have actually managed to kill me. Since I can't get hit by reflect. Woo okay. Hey, she's got burned down to zero. You attack over there. Yeah, I think I probably got flame blasts. What happened? Oh, <laughs> do not, do not go into your invulnerable stage, please. Oh, I was hoping to avoid this stage. Ah, oh, god damn it! They, <laughs> the Maven made a fake one. Simulacrumed. Doing the little booty shake. No. Hold on. And goodbye. Luring Abyss. Ooh, Luring All Flame Ember of the Vol. That's new to me. Is that valuable? Oh, yeah, it's worth like 20c. Okay. Black monsters have a chance to lead corpse with a special craft. Okay, that's cool. Cool, that's Uber at Ziri. Meaning that. We now have access to the feared, which I have... I am fearful of doing that. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I will do that on camera. I will definitely do that on camera. But oh boy, am I nervous for that, because that sounds scary. Yeah. I don't... I don't want to attempt that right now. No, that's, that's too much. That's... Uber at Ziri Chiyula, um, the Cortex Automaton thing, Shaper, and the Elder at the same time. That's, I mean, all of them on their own I can handle. At Ziri is a pain. Chiyula is a little bit of a pain, too. I would have to kill at Ziri first. I, I would absolutely have to kill it, Ziri first. There's no, there's no way around that. I will leave that till next time, though, because that's fun. But our the the stream is at a natural end now, so it is a good time to call it. Thank you all so much for coming today. I really appreciate it. For everyone who is here and has been here, I appreciate you very, very much. Thank you so much for coming. I will try to get this VOD out tomorrow. 
on Friday. I will try to also get some videos out soon. I'm sorry again that the highlight videos haven't been coming out really. It's been a very busy week. Okay, thank you all for watching. I will try to get another stream out soon, and I will see you in the Atlas. Good night.